good evening, Commanders, and welcome back to the officially unofficial Elite Dangerous Twitch stream, live stream thingamajig. Um, it's good to be here. It's Thursday. We are making our way through the week, and <laughs> there's only Friday left to go, and that's pretty much the weekend, isn't it? So uh, for any of you who are <laughs> fighting your way desperately towards those hallowed days of Saturday and Sunday, welcome to Thursday evening, because you're almost there. Congratulations. It's good. It's good. It's good. We are here to play some Elite Dangerous to discuss all things related to Elite Dangerous and um, just generally have a good time. So, uh, fingers crossed that's what we managed to do because you never know what's going to happen on this stream because it's entirely unofficial. But there we go. Welcome one and welcome all. I see a few first time chats in the chat. So if you've de-lurked, de-cloaked, then welcome. Uh, if you haven't yet decloaked, but yeah, that's okay. You know, remain anonymous. It's, it's all fine. But welcome one and welcome all to Thursday evening and time to have some fun with Elite Dangerous on the unofficial Elite Dangerous live stream hosted by me, Drew Wager. Welcome. Uh, is that enough of that? I think it is. Uh, right. Now I'm going to attempt to do the thing, which is the thing. The thing must be done. At least it must be attempted to be done. That gets increasingly more tricky on this stream because there's an awful lot of people in the chat, but uh, I will do my best. I, <laughs> it's going to be fast. Are you ready? Here we go. Right. It's Commander Betraya. First in the chat. Congratulations, <laughs> 20 minutes before the stream actually starts. That's pretty keen. Well done. Enigma Ish is here as well. Sizzle is here. Tin Man UK 79 is here. Witty Beauty is here. Of course, of course he is. A. Morris 2023 is here. Brain still works. Excellent. I'm glad your brain still works. It's here as well. Beast Nuka. <laughs> It's the only way to be sure, right? Uh, MP Tolby is here. First time chat from the Paranoid Android. I uh, hope you haven't got a pain or the diode down your left hand side, but uh, fingers crossed. Uh, Biffboy81 is here. Commander Tragic Blue is here. Top Shot is here. Usually in first place, but not today. Myon Toxin is here. Jones the Film is here. Uh, Jim Material is here. Um, Peel Please Clicks is, is here as well. <laughs> That's, a, that's an impossible to pronounce username. You need some vowels in your username, okay? This is going to be much slicker if you have vowels in your username. Commander Terakov is here. First time chat from Downslide WI. Uh, Eric Loss is here. The Funny Asteroid is here because it's never a good space game without the Funny Asteroid. Chris F001 is here as well. New introduction by Grondian as well. First time chat from Generic Boy and first time chat from Sergeant Painful. Welcome to the stream. Um, I hope you are having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Have a boo boo is here with four thumbs up. Commander Burns is here. Eridan Dundragon is here. Dundragoning. Um, a first time chat from Dayton Darkstar. Now, Darkstar, there's a good name. Good old Spectrum game from 1984. Did you know that? Probably not. <laughs> Mad Monksoft is here. Uh, Poise is ever on Wikipedia. Commander Me Immortal is here. Paphos UK is here. Winnie1979 is here. Gumpazia is here. Ah, Blog Twat is here. Big 39 GT is here. Andy Pipkin is here. <laughs> Down, oh, no, I've done that one. Lumsace is here. MP Tolby is here. Alien Hunter PL is here. Hunting some alien PLs. Uh, <laughs> Stumpy 73 is here, Torquay Mouse is here, Saxy Fridge 75 is here, ah, how are we doing? Eridargus is here, Commander Big Boo, hello, is here as well, Frank Miner 2949 is here, Stone Cove Mason is here, the Navy Fishbone is here, Herban Sparks is here, Simeon Grey is here, the Arrakis are here, fighting off the invasion of the Harkonnens. Uh, Oxif VR is here as well, um, Dead Star Omega is here, Eric Loss is here, the Harkonnens have arrived, <laughs> ready to invade Arrakis. Uh, I'm Zappel is here as well. Aurelian256 is here. Alexander Corbett is here. Uh, Andy P783 is here. Uh, the Commander Welsh Dragon is here. Aussie G is here. Urban Sparks is here. Cyber Darby is here. Jumble Failure Jones the Film. Uh, Game Then Grave is here. <laughs> Triplex Personalities is here. Uh, and I think I've caught up to the bottom of the chat. Yes! Da, 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 da. It's not too bad, is it? <laughs> One minute in, whatever it happens to be. Right! That's enough of that. It's time to get on with something else that's uh, the, the usual thing that we do. Ah, it's time for me to just ease myself into the stream. Brace yourself, my friends. Brace yourself, because here we go. So those, those cutscenes just never get old, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's a few late joiners here. First time chat from Urbane One uh, and Electro Ace as well. Good to see you. Good to see you, folks. Good to see you. Lovely. And, and say welcome to one and welcome all. So if you want to chat, that's fine. If you don't want to chat, you just want to chill out. Um, <laughs> For God's sakes, guys, you must have something better to do on a Thursday evening than listen to me waffle away. But if you haven't, for some strange reason, you find this entertaining, welcome. <laughs> Dark Star was John Carpenter's first. Oh, of course, yes, Wintermute GB. Yes, I'm thinking Dark Star. Of course, there was a Spectrum game, and no, there was. You're quite right. There was a film, wasn't there? Dark Star, which is sort of kind of Red Dwarf almost before Red Dwarf is a thing. I do remember Dark Star. Is that the one where they surf into the and they have the talking bomb? Is <laughs> I think that's the one. Uh, 
<laughs> that monk's off says, why don't you just switch off your television set and go do something that's boring instead? <laughs> am I am I aging some of us on this stream? Uh, Aussie G has absolutely nothing better to do. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a pretty sad commentary on your life, Aussie G, sorry. Oh, and the beach ball alien, that's right. And the bomb that you have to talk down for being a bomb. Yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely a good film. Navy Fishbone wants to know, am I going to eventually try and hunt the Rexler? Well, uh, we should give it some consideration. We should give it some consideration. Uh, we've all come to bask in your brilliance. It's just a very, very dim light bulb, that is, for the Uh <laughs> Uh dear, oh dear, never mind, never mind. Right, so um, yeah, so so, so subject to well, I'm, I'm just going to kind of vaguely be on topic actually for the waffle tonight because one of the things that has come up a couple of times, people have PM'd me asking, when are we going to do those hyperspace jump thingamajigs again? And I thought that's a very very good question. When are we going to do those hyper jump thingamajig spaceship stuff again? Um, um, we are, uh, what I thought we'd do, because the problem with them is they, they do take up quite a lot of stream time to organise, so I don't want to do one every week. Um, and tradition demands on this stream that we, uh, we <laughs> that I have to create a dodgy MIDI file of some piece of theme music <laughs> for every hyperspace jump we do. And that, that also takes a little bit of time, right? Uh, <laughs> so what I thought I might do, maybe we'll do one at the end of each month or something like that. Yeah, does that does that suit people? Because, um, you know, it, it, they usually take about half an hour to get everybody into the same place and do all that instancing stuff, right? Um, and I can probably crank out, I mean, I've got a backlog of MIDI files we can use anyway, um, but I thought maybe once a month we could kind of do some of those super hyperspace jobs because they're good fun, they look cool and everybody enjoys them. So, um, what is this hyperspace event? Well, basically what we do, we get as many people, right? We get as many people into an instance as possible. And then we try and do a synchronized hyperspace jump to somewhere else. And it, it just looks cool, okay? So we, what, what, what we generally do is I get a piece of theme tune that um, my, and my media renditions are, you know, so-so. So, -so, so they don't always trip the copyright censors, which is pretty neat. We've done, we've done jumps in the past to things like the Battlestar Galactica theme and the Airwolf theme and all those kind of things. Um, so I think it might be fun to reintroduce those, but maybe we should do one a month. Um, and you get to try and get as many people into the game as possible in the same instance. Uh, sometimes that stresses the servers a bit, but hey... <laughs> That's Frontier's problem, not mine. So, um, yeah, so we've done that quite a few times. I think we've had up, we certainly had 30 or 40. I think we've sometimes pushed 50 when we've been really successful. I don't know what the record is. It might be fun, actually, <laughs> to find out what the record is and see if we can beat it. I'm pretty sure it's Distant Worlds 2 um, had the... Um, the biggest ever mass jump in Elite Dangerous history. So that, that might be a target. If anybody can find out how many ships were in that instance, let's see if we, let's see if we can bust it. <laughs> Frontier won't thank us for that because that, it really strains their servers, but hey. <laughs> uh, so I think, I think that'd be fun. So we'll, we'll do that. Um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll announce a date and because um, we'll, we'll need to do a bit of practicing because there's there's a bit of technique to getting everybody into the same instance. So I think that I think that's quite good. Or um, so Alien Hunter PL says Axe's fifth birthday. We had 150 commanders. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's that's very very impressive. Um, okay. Oh, the Magnum PI theme tune. Okay. AXI got 120 into a Spire site recently. Okay, that's pretty good. So maybe the servers are better. <laughs> They used to be because they used to fall over in a big, ugly heap years ago. So uh, they do seem to have improved the instancing, which is good. So, that, so that's the thing. Um, I am beginning to sequence up my you know, um, you know, intro guests and things from the community. So that's the thing that I also want to, to, to get onto the stream. I haven't done that yet because <laughs> I've been very, very busy. So, uh, <laughs> but I will. I've got a list. You've probably seen it on my Discord if you haven't, um, of worthy people I would like to interview on the stream at some point in time. So I will do that too. But tonight I did want to spend a bit more time in the game itself with you, you fine folk, because um, I need to get to grips with Odyssey. Because so far I have, I've, I've done the I've done the planetary exploration stuff a bit, and I, I've I've scanned some plants and I made <laughs> some, you know, in fact, a completely ridiculous and insane amount of money uh, by doing that. So. Um, yeah, but I want to do some of the other stuff. I've, you know, you, 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 you've, you've, got to, you've got to guide me through Odyssey uh, and, and help me appreciate its wonders. That's, that's basically what I'm attempting to do. So, um, 
so yeah, so we will do some mass hyper jumps. They have been requested a lot. Um, I will get the community stuff um, organised as well and get some people interviewed as well. I think that will work out good. Um, okay, so Brainstorm Works says the current record is 127 commanders hyper jump simultaneously during Small Worlds Expedition. Okay, so uh, do the Thunderbirds theme, says Winter Beach GP. Okay, so okay, well, 127 commanders is the target to beat. Let's <laughs> see if we can work towards that. <laughs> I will add the Thunderbirds theme to the list. That's really, really good. So, uh, so, so awesome stuff. Um, so, um, yeah, so in, in terms of sort of frontier news and stuff, there's, there is some good news, actually. I, d I logged on and looked at the Steam charts. OK, now I know that Steam charts are um, universally hated by people who don't like Steam charts. <laughs> yeah, because you're not allowed to mention Steam charts in terms of anything. But, but, my friends, the Elite Dangerous Steam chart has, has gone up. <laughs> Not got up by much but it's got up okay so this is a good thing we are co collectively frontier has done their thing they've promised us new stuff i'm waffling on about things uh and yeah there are other content creators sort of going oh ooh, ooh, hang on I mean, it's something something <laughs> something maybe is happening with leap dangerous it's all positive a rising tide lifts all boats right so um uh, and there you go, Roll said, uh, Ren Solson says, I logged in this week, I've first time in two years. That's pretty much what I did at the beginning of the year. <laughs> so, you know, so, yeah, positive vibes, positive vibes, okay, positive vibes for, for Elite Dangerous. Um, um, if you're a train engineer, says Mad Monksoft, <laughs> Steam charts are usually quite good. <laughs> So anyway, so it's positive. I think, I think, I think it's positive. I think that's the main thing we can take from that. Um, um, so, um, and, um, you know, I, th I, you know, I think there's been a general uptick in all the sort of communities, you know, Reddit, I see a bit more activity on, um, <laughs> somebody tagged me in a post on the frontier forums, which I don't frequent very often because, you know, a more wretched hive of a scum and villainy, etc. But, um, <laughs> apparently some poor soul, uh, posted one of, posted the link to one of my videos. I think it was one of this live stream from last week, actually. Uh, and it instantly got banned. Well, not, it, it, I don't think he got banned, but it instantly got taken down because, not 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 because it was me, but because by, dis, by me discussing the leak and the potential information that had been gleaned from the game about the leak um, on my stream, <laughs> my stream was deemed not permissible for the frontier forums <laughs> now the funny thing is about that is i i didn't condone um data mining of the game because obviously it's against the terms and conditions of the game but i don't think it's i think it's a bit of a stretch to take things down when you're discussing that these sort of things happen but anyway yeah the um the rules are the rules and the rules must be obeyed <laughs> unless they unless they don't have to be obeyed so um yeah so i yeah the um I actually tried quite hard to get banned on the front two floors, but I never, never actually officially achieved it. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but um, no, it wasn't for lack of trying, to be honest, particularly towards the end when they were being they were being very very silly about things. But there we go. Um, <laughs> alas, I was never officially banned, um, but I haven't posted there for for quite some time. Not 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 properly anyway. But um, so, um, um, but anyway, <laughs> apologies for discussing the. <laughs> The um, the fact that some people do data mine and that you know, the, but that's that's one of the good things about this stream being an unofficial Elite Dangerous stream. Okay, I'm not affiliated with Frontier in any way, shape, or form uh, anymore. Uh, haven't been for many, many years, and so we are free to discuss things that are maybe a little bit dodge. Mm, there you go. You hear it here first. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, so I mean, you know, if 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 they've got rules, they've got rules. Um, their their rules seem to be um, very very patchily applied from in my own experience. But your mileage may vary, my friend. Your mileage may vary. Um, so, <laughs> so something, yeah, Big B, you're probably right. So <laughs> now that we've discussed that we previously discussed data mine, this stream is definitely going to get cut. Okay, so don't anybody post this stream on the Frontier Forum because you'll probably get into trouble. Okay. <laughs> Ah oh dear, dear. It's quite funny. That's 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 why other channels, are, yeah, yeah, the other channels do exist. It's fine. Uh, it's easy to get banned on the forum. Says when you No, I tried. I, I I put quite a lot of effort into getting banned on the forum. I mean, short of actually swearing and being actually horrible and actually generally breaking some rules, I sort of I sort of tweaked the rules because I didn't agree with them. <laughs> but no, they 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 didn't do me the honour of actually banning me. But there we go. Never mind. 
<laughs> ah, dear. Am I still under NDA from before? Yes, unfortunately, the NDA I signed with Frontier is 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 eternal. <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure if it applies to my descendants, but it certainly applies to me. So I'm afraid. What I'm going to have to do, actually, I'm going to have to create some sort of sealed envelope with all the secrets I do know that are not in the game and haven't yet been revealed, so that when I finally snuff it, it'll be in my will. <laughs> And then it can be revealed, because I can't be bound by the NDA in death, can I? <laughs> so the only problem with doing that is that somebody might go, ah, hang on a minute, if we assassinate Drew, then we can find out what everything that he needs, because he's written it down. Uh, <laughs> Andy Pipkin says, <laughs> I'd kill for that. Um, I got a warning for bumping a thread. Yes, I did. Yes. Yeah, because I was just trying to add some value into the law section of the forums, but they didn't like that. <laughs> so I gave up. <laughs> Anybody who wants to find out about my law stuff can find it easily enough just by typing <laughs> exclamation mark law in the chat. Ta da! So, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, downslide. Um, so I do the rare X list. No, I, 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 well, do I? No, no, I don't. Um, so, yeah, so I don't know. If the game folds, maybe the NDA is no longer. I'll have to go and read the, the small print again. I know that all the time the game is up and the things that are it that I know that haven't been revealed in game I'm not allowed to talk about them if they've been revealed in game then I'm it's all fair game right but if it hasn't been revealed in game I'm not allowed to talk about it um leave us a time capsule <laughs> so yes I think I might do that I'm going to write a maybe some sort of digital bomb you know what, what they call them with the unlocks you know basically I'll give you a code or something that basically says you know in my will if you go to this website and type in this code uh all thy secrets will be revealed and it might be my posthumous revenge on everything. So, I don't know. I'll try something like that. We'll see how it goes. Right. Anyway, that's enough waffle. Uh, let us get on with what's been happening in the universe of Elite Dangerous and uh, see what exciting stuff awaits us. Are you ready for another scene transition? Great, my friends, because these are as naff as I can make them. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wrong button. Ah! Right, here we are. So it is time. It is time for um, a bit of Galnet. Let's let's have a look at what Galnet's doing. Um, I need to... Uh, where is it? <laughs> is this one? I need to... Where's my... Inter oh, there it is. There's my interact button. Sorry, I need to be able to click the right things. Right, so a couple of Galnets. In fact, one's just been published. So this one happened a few days ago. Um... And, um, uh, yeah, I suppose I could leak it, couldn't I, anonymously? Oh, <laughs> uh, dear. I, I, the trouble is, I mean, being, being I mean, I know I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a troublemaker. You, you probably noticed this over the years. Yeah. I do like to tweak the nose of authority. I'm, I'm not somebody who really likes playing to rules, unless they're mine. I, I don't mind my own rules. I'll play with my own rules. But when everybody else opposes some rules on me, I... <laughs> I get a bit antsy. I don't like it. So that's that's why I've been badly behaved on the forums in the past. Uh, because <laughs> I'm just a natural rebel, sorry. I was born in 1970. I'm Generation X. We are natural rebels. There's nothing we can do about it. We uh, have a healthy disregard for authority. <laughs> so whenever somebody gets uh, starts enforcing rules, I start. I just get petty automatically. I'm, I'm sorry, it's a character flaw. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, <laughs> so... Um, so yes, and so I I I I, I <laughs> gently tweak the nose. I don't bite the hands that the uh, hand that feeds me, but I, I do nibble at it. <laughs> anyway, welcome to a couple of first time chats there, Commander Rithwald and Andic fifty seven. Uh, <laughs> so don't bite the hand that feeds you, but do do give it a nibble <laughs> and a little munch. Okay, uh, what was I like at school? <laughs> uh, well. My <laughs> My report cards were, were very much of the... Of the uh, uh, Drew would have enormous potential if... <laughs> uh, dear. So, um, yeah, so apologies. I'm, yeah, I, am a, I am a natural troublemaker, I am. <laughs> it's just... Well, what can I say? Um, 
I understand the Gen X. It is. We, we, I mean, the trouble is we were, we were, the problem with Gen X, sorry, this is a slight side waffle again. The problem with Gen X is that we were, we, <laughs> we were kind of kicked out of the house at nine o'clock in the morning, told to fend for ourselves until tea time or when the lights basically came on on the street lamps. And so we sort of developed our own code, really. Uh, it was, it was, it was, yeah, it was fight, yeah, fight, survive or die, basically, for Gen X, pretty much, because, um, you know, that's just the way we were up, but we kind of, kind of when we came over old. Um, dear Boastman, please be aware of the truth. Uh, so um, I must remember to use the Gen X exclusive. Yeah, so fortunately, all the stuff that we did that was extremely dodgy in the 70s and 80s happened before social media and digital cameras. So there's virtually no evidence of anything that we did. <laughs> if Gen X had been born 20 years later, <laughs> it would have been extremely embarrassing. Um, so, so there we go. So fortunately, all our most of our embarrassing stuff uh, happened long before it could be recorded effectively. So that's good. Right. Anyway, we're not supposed to be talking about that. Um, we're supposed to be talking about Galnet. Right. So apparently, there's been some catastrophic earthquakes uh, in Rhea. Now, I th th first thought Rhea. Hang on. Isn't that a moon of Saturn? But apparently, that's. Uh, I think it's a moon of Saturn, but it's not. That's this is somewhere else. This is the Rhea system. Um, so. Um, but so, yeah, there's been a catastrophic earthquake. Um, a series of high magnitude earthquakes on the planet Rhea have caused widespread devastation and millions of casualties. OK, so bad, bad news. Massive seismic activity across the northern continent has effectively shattered dozens of towns and cities, including the capital, New Green Acre. The intense tremor has also triggered tsunamis in the surrounding oceans, which have wrecked coastal regions on other land masses. So what's that's interesting is that um, um, seismic detection technology hasn't improved very much in the last thousand years. Um, so we don't have the technology to predict earthquakes yet, um, for, for whatever reason. Um, so, yeah, I suppose that's a very good point, actually, Commander Brusselhoff. Why the hell is it an earthquake? Because it isn't an earthquake, is it? It's a rear quake. Or, to be very precise, a rear three quake. That's, that's what it should be. That's a very, very good, very, very good observation. <laughs> well, it's not the Earth, though, is it? I mean, is the Earth underground? I mean... <laughs> I, th I think a Rio quake is possible because they call them moon quakes on the moon, don't they? And Mars quakes on Mars, so it should have been a Rio quake. Uh, <laughs> uh, so very good point, very well, good point, well made. Local journalist Len Kennelly published a summary for Vox Galactica. The only disaster on the scale we've seen in the Rio was when NMLA terrorists bombed Ito Orbital. This time, however, the death toll could have run into tens of millions. Urban skylines have crumbled like sandcastles with dragged pits opening up to swallow entire neighbours. So it's pretty, pretty darn bad. Uh, Federal Liberal Command has declared the highest state of emergency, calling for volunteers to help rescue trapped citizens. Uh, we're seeing direct support from other factions in the system and Federal Navy specialists are coordinating relief efforts. The humanitarian organisation Safeguard Interstellar is also here in force. All these... <laughs> All these new uh, organisations, um, <laughs> Safeguard Interstellar, I don't know, have they been mentioned before? I haven't come across them, but they, they may have been mentioned before. Um, they're providing supplies and temporary shelters for everyone. Sophia Trevino, political correspondent for the Federal Times. Why are they asking a political correspondent? Uh, for the Federal Times reported, as soon as the news broke, ah, broke, this is why, President-elect Felicia Winters, native of Rio 3, oh, she comes from here, okay, and the system's representatives in Congress immediately cancelled her schedule and travelled to her home world. Unverified reports claim that contact has been lost with members of her family, most of who lived in the capital. Oh, that's bad news. Okay. Uh, speculation has already begun that this might cause further delays to the beginning of Winters' term of office. Vice President-elect how do you pronounce that? Zolde Rochester made a statement asking for patience, claiming our focus right now should be on aiding those affected by this tragedy. OK, well, there we go. Um, so, so bad news in the rear system. There's been a massive earthquake. Now, um, I am actually I've, I went to the rear system. Um, I haven't had a poke around yet. I don't know. Is there anything in game for us to do on behalf of this emergency? So that's that's going to be um, a question. Um, I like Galnet Red by Drew. It's better than computer voice. <laughs> uh, so, so we'll, uh, we'll we'll check it. We'll check into. Uh, well, I'm I'm actually at um, Ito Orbital now. So, if you want to mosey on the cross to Ito Orbital, that's where I am, and uh, we'll, we can check out the system. See if is there any, I mean, on foot rescue missions would be quite cool. I suspect that's not the case. Um, but anyway, so that's the first one. That's 13th of Feb, and then just before we came on air, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we had another one. Um, um, now this one's interesting. 
<laughs> this one's very interesting. Um, so yeah, well, uh, Wintermute, I think you're exactly on the uh, on the case there. In other words, she'll become president when power play two drops in you. So yes, they're certainly setting winters up for um, and and a few of the power play characters are getting a bit of airtime in Galnet, aren't they? Um, um, which is uh, yeah, which is fair enough. You know, you've got to kind of remind people who they are and what's going on politically if there's going to be power play two. Which I think, well, I think it's okay. Should be Galnet should be doing exactly that sort of thing. Right. Anyway, so anyway, so this one's now the Pilots Federation alert. Okay, deliveries are urgently needed to begin manufacturing a new weapon capable of causing severe damage to Thargoid Titans. Professor Ishmael Palin, him again, he's always at the heart, isn't he, old Palin, has been leading on the project using theories developed by Ramtar. Aegis, did I get that right? Aegis? You're, you're impressed, aren't you, Wintermute? <laughs> <laughs> Aegis released an official statement on the news feeds. Uh, we can now reveal the results of Ramtar's experiments into Guardian relics. These ancient objects were crystalline supercomputers. You're not impressed. <laughs> what have I got to do to impress you, my friend? Um, a first time chat from Zardra 07, and then we agree. We need Mr. Wager as a co -vest. You'd never get anything done. they will be going uh, undercarriage deployed. Well, you know, when I say undercarriage, what I really mean. <laughs> Hyperspace D-throttle. Don't say hyperspace D-throttle. Can't stand D-throttling. It's not D-throttling, it's throttling. That's what's going on. You know, I would be useless as a covert. <laughs> I'd just be chattering all the time, annoying you in the cockpit. <laughs> right, okay, sorry. These ancient objects were crystalline supercomputers. Okay. <laughs> that relayed data across the Guardian's information networks. Right. His theory was that their transformation into unclassified relics at Thargoid Titan. Okay, so you, you grab these Guardian things and put them into Thargoid Titan. They turned into unclassified relics. Um, that Thargoid service was caused by an inbuilt defense mechanism which perhaps could be weaponized. Ooh. Okay. Um, Ramtar discovered that exposure to certain electromagnetic frequencies. <laughs> okay. Caused Guardian relics to open and activate clusters of microscopic nanites. Okay, so there's, there's a bit of sci-fi hand waving going on here. But certain electromagnetic frequency, I mean, that could mean anything. I mean, if you stick it in a microwave, does it go bang? Uh, if you shine a light on it, does it go bang? If you just gently warm it with a bit of infrared from your hand, does it go bang? Or is it radio waves? Is it gamma rays? What is it? Uh, <laughs> certain electromagnetic frequencies not specified. That's pretty damn dangerous, to be honest, because you might accidentally stumble on a certain electromagnetic frequency um, <laughs> and get swarmed by you know, a rampaging horde of Guardian nanites, which probably can't... It's probably not a good thing, is it? Uh, <laughs> anyway, apparently these nanites react aggressively against Thargoid biotechnology by disrupting it on the molecular level. Um, okay. Um, not sure. Mm. Uh, I don't know enough about nanotechnology. Does it does it operate on the molecular level? I suppose it probably does, actually. Um, most significantly, tests prove that these nanotes are unaffected by the anti-guardian field generated within maelstroms. Okay, so whatever these nanotes are, the anti-guardian problem that you take any guardian stuff into the Thargoid's vicinity immediately malfunctions doesn't happen. <laughs> Jolly convenient. <laughs> But that's good news. OK, that's good news. Uh, <laughs> Professor Palin, aided by Aegis technicians, has used Guardian hybrid engineering to construct a soft warhead that delivers a nanite payload. OK, so presumably by soft, they mean non-explosive. Uh, the torpedo uh, is armoured using organic, organic compounds from a Thargoid spire site to prevent anti-guardian fields affecting it in flight. So we've basically, okay, so we've got a bomb uh, that we can deploy. It's got nanites in it. Um, our strategists believe that these weapons could affect a Titan's heat regulation system, causing internal damage and eventually even total destruction. <laughs> so basically, what you've got to do is you've got to hit the exhaust port exactly right. <laughs> It'll go down a tube and then maybe hit the main reactor. <laughs> which will cause a chain reaction that may destroy the entire station. <laughs> I've, I've heard this plot before somewhere. <laughs> uh, mass production of Guardian Nanite Torpedo and its launcher module has begun. Available at all shipyards near you <laughs> fairly soon. Uh, but further supplies, I need to construct enough for simultaneous attacks against all eight Thargoid mothers. Okay, so we're, we're going to go and get the whole lot in one go. Okay, uh, in update 18. <laughs> 
<laughs> Aegis has asked for shipment of new fabric insulation, ion disruptors and energy grid assemblies to be delivered to Clement Orbital and the y, uh, YZ SETI system. The initiative is being managed by YZ SETI Blue Galactic and Co, which aims to protect deliveries by redeeming bounty hunters and all wanted ships. Okay, right, so... Uh, <laughs> I think it's fairly clear now uh, what we're going to be tasked with doing in update 18, right? Uh, <laughs> a paper says right on there. Switch off your targeting computer. Um, so, <laughs> shouldn't be too hard. I used the bullseye want brands in my T15 back home. Yeah, they wear small of those bots. Yeah. Um, <laughs> are we gonna? What we? What we're gonna need is some snub-nosed fighters. <laughs> I think. Um, so yeah, so okay, so there's, there's a few little inconsistencies with this. I think it's only reasonable for me as a total pedant to point out uh, is that this is this has been sent to the entire Pilots Federation, right? Okay. Now I don't know about you, but I've met some of the people who are part of the Pilots Federation, and um, <laughs> there are a rather a lot of us, right? And B, not all of us, I suspect, are entirely trustworthy. Um, so it seems it seems a very, very bad tactical or even strategic move to broadcast this information to everybody in advance of the actual attack. I mean, I mean, we know the Thargoids are pretty dumb because they haven't taken advantage of their, uh, uh, <laughs> their overwhelming military support, uh, capability and tactical position to wipe out humanity. But... Uh, <laughs> Explaining our plan in advance of us actually putting it into operations does seem to be perhaps something of a security leak. <laughs> now I'm I'm hoping I'm, I'm hopeful that Pilots Federation communiques are <laughs> encrypted in some sort of asymmetric fashion, but uh, <laughs> the odd tongue surely is going to be wagging, right? Uh, <laughs> in the space bars, all across the bubble. And it's not beyond the realms of possibility, I feel. The Thargoids might be able to come across us and go, hang on, those pesky humans are planning to attack us with something. Uh, do you think maybe we should take some preemptive uh, defense techniques? So, I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, so and, and the, okay, so that's something encrypted using molecular quantum encryption technology. That's totally top secret, except when it's read out in clear text. Uh, maybe it's my fault again. It usually is my fault nowadays. Uh, maybe me <laughs> reading this out live on stream is going to let the Thargoids know what's going to happen to them. Uh, evacuate in my moment of triumph. Ah <laughs> uh, dear. So yeah, and, and, and as a storytelling piece of, I mean, this is this is all fine stuff yeah um now if, if galnet was like a su uh, if this was a single player game and this was like a super top secret communicator only you one pilot it would be fine but in fact it's been broadcast around the galaxy around the clock um it does, <laughs> does seem a little bit odd and from a from a, from i'm just putting on my writing hat and i know i'm already wearing a hat but this the hat is now transmogrified into a writing hat okay um is that if uh, <laughs> when you write something like um, our strategists believe that these weapons could affect a Titan's heat regulation system, causing internal damage and eventually even total destruction. Um, <laughs> that, in writing terms, is called tell, telling, not showing. Okay, there is a uh, there's a rule for good writing generally, and it's, it's a rule that you don't always have to stick to, but it's a, it's a reasonably good rule called show don't tell. Okay, this this is wrong. This is not the good. This is not a good way of doing it. Um, because now we know what's going to happen. And we already knew we were going to win the Thargoid War, and it, it would be the conclusion, the culmination, the, the epic finale too, uh, or otherwise the end of the Thargoid War, but um, telling us that they might lead to eventual destruction. Aha, okay, so we know it's the end of the Thargoid War. Uh, it's almost certain that we're going to destroy some of the Titans. Um, maybe this is all misdirection. Maybe it is. Maybe it's a maybe it's a really really cunning a cunning thing. But uh, I'm not convinced. Um, we'll see. Um, it's a trap. All commanders that get caught in this. Uh, yeah, maybe that's going to be the thing. Maybe the maybe the torpedo is going to fail like the salvation one. <laughs> We're going to deploy those things. And it's just not going to work. Um, so. Um, the end, but leaving all the assets for to play with. So yeah, I mean, they, 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 you know, maybe I, I kind of assume that the, um, 
uh, the Titans would be forced to retreat and they would sort of camp out in the Pleiades or something. But um, uh, who knows? But um, yeah, I, this isn't this isn't the best writing I've come across. Um, some of the other stuff we've had in the, in the Galnets was was. Um, <laughs> was a bit better. This this doesn't feel like this. This this just feels like um, there's going to be some bombs. You're going to have to drop them and do some clever stuff. I, I'm still hopeful we might get some you know human versus Thargoid on footy stuff, but um, who knows? Who knows? Uh, it might be if telling those not interested in the storyline have a tiny bit of patience. It'll be over soon. We can go back to doing some uh, other stuff. Um, so um, as for the uh, <laughs> as for the crystalline supercomputers. Um, <laughs> okay, we'll go with that. Um, so, um, so yeah, so presumably this is a new CG. I haven't checked the, the game, but I'm assuming there's a new CG to go and find some stuff and deliver it to uh, Clement Orbital in the YZ City system. Is that is that is that fair? <laughs> uh, help me, Commander. Yeah, if we had suddenly have to rescue some stolen plans. It is a new CG. There we go. I thought it has to be. It has to be a new CG. Um, so, yeah, so maybe it's <laughs> it's a super complicated plot for the Thargoid strategists. Aha! Let's let the humans think we've got a weak point. We entice all the commanders in and then we blow them up. <laughs> so, basically, it's going to be one or the other, isn't it? Either we defeat the Titans or they're going to wipe out <laughs> all of humanity's independent pilots in one hit. Um, so we'll have to see what goes. Yes. Um, has there been any mention of fixing the system the Proteus way was... Well, that's got to be part of the the culmination, the finale, I would have thought, you know, because that's a system effectively almost off... Um, um, it's, it's kind of almost off limits because of the Thargoid stuff, isn't it? So, um, so yeah, it would be nice if there was a double a double twist or plot twist that we haven't seen coming, but it, it doesn't read like that to me. <laughs> so we'll see. We shall see. But uh, there we go. That's, that's, that's Galnet for now. So there we go. Right. We, we need to get into the game and do some stuff. So let's go and do that, my friends. For those of you who want to join me, I am in the Rhea system. Um, which, which is a place called Rio. I, I can't remember exactly where it is on the galactic map, but uh, there we go. So here we are. Right. Are we ready for another transition? Because, you know, it's time to brace once more and it's time for the playthrough. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Right, fingers crossed. Where's my game gone? <laughs> it's, oh, there it is. What's it doing? <sighs> so uh, anyway, here we are. We are at um, we are at uh, Ito Orbital in the rear system. Now, um, um, is there anything here? That's also going to be my first question. Is there anything here we can do to assist with earthquake stuff? Um, I wondered if Galnet was just one of the, it was just one of those sort of bits of what we used to call fluff, which all us authors got a bit upset about because we we didn't want to do fluff. But um, I'll just have a quick look at the. Um, uh, everyone says no. Oh, okay. It's a bit of a shame. You thought they could do some sort of. Why is my PC responding to my mouse? There we go. Um, so there's nothing here. Uh, it's not even on the new. Oh, I suppose it will be in Galnet, won't it? But. Um, the welcome, Commander. I thought it was You may notice a lot of activity during your stay. We have a new, we have our eye on a new star system with A. Oh, A view. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a terrible piece of user interface design. <laughs> you may notice we have our eye on a new star system with A. Uh, view to expanding. <laughs> They are in a natural disaster state. Okay, how do how do, this is this is all to do with the BGS, isn't it? Which I did know something about, but I've forgotten about. So how do I how do I tell what state a system is in? Um, oh, the state seems to have been removed. Okay, so the Pilots Federation. Okay, so Pilots Federation alert is something that actually has something in game. Everything is. Um, think, yeah, it kind of be good to sort of help out wouldn't it those are sort of missions that might be fun so how do i you click local news okay okay so uh the labor labor of rear status summary uh the current they're, they're happy they're happy everybody's happy <laughs> millions of people have just died on the surface of the planet but yep nope everything is good up here come in, in space orbit come and be happy with the rest of us <laughs> Uh, 
Every, everybody is happy. Federal Liberty Command status is happy. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> commodities currently attracting the highest price of systems are damaged escape pods, medicines. Well, that sort of makes sense, I suppose. Uh, coffee is on the list. You know, survival equipment. Kind of, I suppose, that makes sense. Uh, but no, everybody is... <laughs> Everybody's entirely comfortable with the situation down on the planet. <laughs> Julia, hello, Julia. Good to see you again. Um, no like them anyway, is now those those pesky planet-bound types. Um, okay, so there's 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 nothing I can do in game to. Why is this going suddenly? Outfitting is unavailable while the ship is occupied. Has somebody jumped into my ship? Somebody. <laughs> Mr. M.P. Talby, I assume, who, who gave me a, a, a thing of this. Um, does that mean? Does that mean there's somebody in my ship? Hang on. Oh yes, there is. Look, somebody snuck into the pilot seat of my ship. <laughs> oh well, that's it. That's cool. Um, well, I can't. That stops me. That's interesting. So I can't do some things when my ship is occupied okay that's very good. i know it's, it's outrageous I, mean, I could have sworn I, I put a lock on that airlock but uh <laughs> uh dear never mind uh, if you want a more okay hang on if you want a more detailed state report you can go to the status tab on the right panel okay so status let's go and have a look at that so okay so this is system faction so federal liberal command is basically saying current states what does what does current states mean that's got a little icon um i oh know it's the cheek somebody's sticking aboard my ship it's, it's outrageous so these basically are basically i don't know what this is telling me at all if you click on one they'll expand okay so that's the first one all right okay so their economy is currently none oh civil liberty boom okay so again they're <laughs> They're entirely happy. Uh, <laughs> everybody, everybody's happy. I think. Yeah, ev they're all happy. So, okay. Ah, oh, dear. You thought? It, I, mean, I don't know. Maybe it's a lot of effort to tweak these things to match anything that you put in gown there. Maybe that maybe it's too hard work. But wouldn't it be nice if if there was actually some, um, actually some kind of? Oh, well, let's go to the rear system and find out what we can do. Um, because you know there are evacuate station missions and things like that. Um, they could have put it in natural disaster mode or something. Yeah, I don't know. Not happy. <laughs> Quite upset. Slightly miffed. A bit disappointed. <laughs> Somewhat tearful. <laughs> Mostly unhappy. <laughs> yeah, there's so many possibilities, right? Um, isn't Galnet like eighty percent fluff with any extra change again? Well, that's that's <laughs> irked. Yeah, irked is a good word. Uh, peeved mostly peeved slightly peeved uh first time chat from Aussie there yes that's great um not written in a different font <laughs> handwritten scribbled over the top um so there doesn't seem to be anything anything that us space pilots can do for the um for the uh, the poor people on Rio 3 who've been uh, um <laughs> been hit by this earthquake which is a bit of a shame um <laughs> Whelmed. Wicked <laughs> disappointment. Ah, uh, dear. Um, try the mission board. I could look at the mission board. Let's let's just check the mission board. Is is there anything for us to do? Um, so let's have a look at all the missions. We can we can donate to the cause. Uh, so that's just giving some money. Um, basically, <laughs> that's just giving them money. Um, there's a courier job available. There are no. There are no, um, there's the, you know, I can give them some medicines there. Maybe that's about the closest you can get. Um, so there we go. Anyway, I, I <laughs> doesn't seem to be anything related to the disaster on the planet's surface at all. Um, but there we go. Restore power missions are fun. So yeah, so, um, so this is, let me go and in that case, because what I want to do is I want to try the Odyssey stuff because I, I know the, spaceship is stuck pretty well so let us disembark and uh, find out what 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 is on offer here at ito ito terminal uh in terms of odyssey related stuffs now i'm playing in the drew wager private group so if you want to join me there you're more than welcome 
Uh, that will help the instancing. Um, we can't land on Rio 3. No, it's an Earth-like world, so we can't we can't go down there and help. Um, hang on, this is this is all a slightly wacky colour scheme. It almost looks like my monitor's not working properly. It's gone sort of pastel. Is this is this is this new? I don't remember seeing a pastely coloured series of lifts before. It's normal, is it? Okay. It's just a different base colour that I've not come across. Ah, look, here's, look, here's the crew. Who have we got here? We've got Commander Eric Loss, Commander P. Tolby, Commander Biff Boy, Commander Sha Sha Shayora, Commander Ozzy, Commander Paphos, Commander Deathstone, Omega, everybody's here. Angry Mosquito and Commander Stupid Ass. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Right, let's see if there's any interesting mission, shall we? Uh, that I might possibly be able to fail at. Okay, so the mission board. What have we got? Okay, let's have a look. There's a lot of, a lot of missions, that's a, that's a good thing. So, uh, so retrieval. So are any of these... Well, first things first. Someone showed Drew how to slip out through the wall and into the orbiter. That would be quite cool. Grab the weapon schematic, massacre, retrieval, smuggling, covert infiltration, digital. Inf so it's always so much illegal stuff. This makes me wonder, from a law perspective, whether or not, um, because obviously we can't wander around the rest of the station, can we? I mean, we know why that is because FDIP hasn't made it yet. But I'm just wondering, from a law perspective. Um, it's um, it's it's like a, a a special place that only pilots federation people can go, and it's the only place where the local laws of the system maybe don't apply. So dodgy things can happen in plain sight because it's like a sealed hermetic little piece of place where normal individuals can't go. Um, so Top Shot says, um, you missed this in chat, but as other commanders said, one faction was in natural disaster state for two days, but as the BGS is also player driven, looks like it's recovered. Okay. Uh, the reason they're all illegal is because seven-eighths of the factions aren't anarchy. Okay, so um, do I need to go somewhere then to get these, you know, some, some more legally type missions or, or at least um, restore missions? If anybody has suggestions on where we can go, um, I would I would welcome that because this is all just <laughs> kill everybody as per usual. Doesn't that's that's I mean. That's just a general observation from me as a new player to Odyssey, is that everywhere I've been so far, um, everything is virtually illegal, no matter what they want to do. Or, you know, if not illegal, they're basically killed somebody. Um, so, um, so yes, that's just... <laughs> that's not good. Um, yeah, so from the law perspective, don't let those dainty spurses out to lunch. Okay, so Commander Simon says, uh, says Dainé Iman. How far away is that? Um, does that mean I need to go back to my ship? Uh, Procure is mostly sneaking. Um, aren't restore missions in different kinds of systems? That's what we're sort of looking at. Um, AX power restore missions are legal and very hard, but I didn't see anything in that. So let's try and go to Day Um I'll go back to the ship because I know how to use the interface there. Ah, hang on, Ozzy sent me a link. What does that do? Nearest MISC. Oh, nearest restore mission. Okay, this is, so this is Anara. Okay, so this is actually telling us that we've got um, a star system called LP726-6, uh, which has got some restore missions, and that was updated 11 minutes ago. So should we give that a try? Because um, I'd like to try some of the... And lots of people have recommended this mission type to me as a sort of intro to all things Odyssey, so let's see if I can go and find one. So we're going to decamp, my friends, to your ships. Let's go. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll attempt to do this one. Oh, the next one down might be better. Okay, hang on, what was that one? So let's have a look again. Uh, the Zynga, Zynga system. Let me go and find that. It is uh, Galaxy Map, Zynga, with, a, with an X. I don't know how you pronounce that. Dinger. There we go. It's right next door. So that's one jump in my ship. Excellent. So let's go there. 
and we'll see we'll see how we do so the zynga system hyperspace ho so we can decamp but we can't de-throttle we're not doing any de-throttling i've explained about that first i've explained about that many times <laughs> uh, <laughs> right Part when ready, Commander. I've already done it, my dear. Always boost through the slot, because it breaks the rules. Oh, look, there's loads of people out here. Excellent. Right, off we go into Zynga. Have I set the carrier concourse for a jump yet? No, I don't think I've done that. No, I haven't done a carrier jump. Um, to see all the lightning stuff from inside that's, that's something I hope to experience actually that'd be really cool uh, but let's see if we can get one of these restore missions if you don't boost out the slot what are you even doing with your life I quite agree <laughs> see I, 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 I instinctively do that the moment they say you're speeding it's like <laughs> throttles to the stops right hyperspace we go let's see if we can get some stuffs going here. <laughs> Remind me to never get in the car with you, Drew. <laughs> That's a bad idea as well. Have you seen any of my driving? I'm <laughs> I am a bit of a car person, as some of you know. So um, I got my Audi TT back on the road in the last week, uh, which has been um, a bit bit sad for, for a while. So I'm quite pleased about that. Um, and my little supercharged MX-5 is, is a thing of terror to <laughs> Any any so-called modern sports car thing on the road because it's stupidly quick, <laughs> um, embarrassingly, in fact, dangerously quick. Actually, in the wrong hands. So <laughs> I enjoy terrorising BMW drivers with it, which is which is most amusing. Um, <laughs> right, system map. What have we got in here? So we have um, two. Presumably, so I, what do I go to the? Does, it, does Inara tell me where I need to go? Zynga Labour is the faction that I'm after. So how do I find out? Does this tell me? Zynga Labour. Okay, so let's go to Pythagoras Port because Inara is telling me that that faction is having problems. A station will do. Um, first time chat from Zeva 11077. Good, good, uh, <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Um, no speed cameras in space. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm going too fast already. Uh, it's really close to the um, star. I'm doing a loop of shame. Because uh, I throttled up too much in just a few brief seconds. Um, never mind. Never mind. Where is it? There we go. Let's fly around. Pythagoras Port. Is Pythagoras the triangles guy? Pythagoras? Is that the some of the square of the opposite pi pot news or something? <laughs> is that Pythagoras or am I thinking of somebody else? Oh, it is. <laughs> um, it's 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 yeah, the, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the opposite sides. Is that <laughs> something I vaguely remember that from school? Uh, he also made a greedy cup. Let's get let's get into let's get into here. See what we can do. Um, right. Progress docking in a moment. <laughs> what? What do you mean request denied? Don't you know who I am? Docking request denied. Oh, what? Are there too many people here? That's what's, what's going to be, isn't it? Oh, I've got some friend requests, I have. Apologies for that. Let me get those sorted out. There we go. You're all my friends now. All right, get off my pe get off my spaceship. Yay, there we go, I have to land now. <laughs> Tis but a small outpost. Oh, which pad am I going in? Two, is that two there? No, that's three, where's two? Oh, it's over there. What about you, but I always seem to come up on these outposts at a really awkward angle. 
It's like, who designed these things? Why didn't they make them a bit more logical? They're really <laughs> quite awkward to get to, I think. Stupid speed station design. Look at this. Really, <laughs> this is the worst landing I've done in ages. This is this is really bad. <laughs> Drunk in charge of a starship, sir. There we go. Donk. <laughs> yeah, mine. Only a small scratch up there on the on the pegwork. I need I need law flying lessons. Um, yeah, Asia, Asia design. Didn't he? Is it Asia or Asia? I don't know. Um, right. I think I better just double check. I think I did bash my ship. <laughs> it's like repair all structural elements. 118 credits. Oops. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, let's disembark then. Into the un the, the low G gravity interior of the um, of the, of the of the of the star of, of of the outpost, where for some bizarre reason, rubbish still sticks to the ground. They're all awkward angles at these outposts, designed to remind you there's no gravity, <laughs> except when you're walking around inside it. Next step, FA off. Yeah, FA off is not something I've ever really mastered. Okay, so no gravity, magnetic contact. Now that I can, I can, I can go with. Um, but what I can't do is you can't run. Yeah, that should be impossible because <laughs> that's not how magnets work. But at least there isn't any rubbish. Oh, there's a few boxes hanging around. Okay, so these, unless these things are magnetically stuck, uh, they should be, <laughs> they should be floating around in zero g really. But hey, never mind. Unless they're sort of bolted to the floor at those jaunty angles. I don't know. Right. Can you walk on the walls if there's no gravity? Apparently not. No, everything has to be oriented as if there is gravity. Which is a bit of a shame, really, because you'd have thought that. Um, uh, oh, God, that's, is that new? It's like, a, it's like a sort of hologram. Not a hologram, it's like a, just a presentation thing on the floor. There's a little projector up there. That's quite sweet. Um, right, so I'm looking for, oh, I'm just looking for a terminal, aren't I? Just trying to think. Right, so let's have a look at the mission board. Are there any restore missions? Um, what would it be under? Retrieval, raid, retrieval, Settlement raid reactivation. Oh, here we go. Is this what I want? Reactivation mission. Turn on the power at Carvajal Botanical Facility. Okay, so turn on power at Fraser Drilling. Um, okay, they're called support missions. Okay, let's just go under support. Thank you very much for that. Okay, so reactivation. Okay, so there's a whole stack load of these sort of things here. Um, some of them pay better than others. Okay, so that one is the best paying one. Are there any difference between them? Let's just have a look at the... Okay, so there's a threat level four, which sounds quite bad. And then that one will be a threat... Oh, they're all threat level four, apparently. Yeah, oh, threat level three. Go for the best pain because you've got support. Okay, let's do that. I'm, I'm just interested in trying it out. Okay, so what have I got to actually do? Let's go for threat level four. Turn on the power at Sosa Mineralogical Exchange. Travel to the socio-meteorological exchange in the Zynga system. Restore power to the settlement's power using the provided power regulator. Return to a terminal of Pythagoras port. A maverick suit is required. So, okay, uh, authorization level three will be assigned. Okay, good. Um, they're providing me with a power regulator. Um, presumably, and then I can I can have some monies or I can have some stuffs. Okay, so. Okay, let's accept that missions. Um, threat level four sounds quite bad. So, okay, so we've got to go to a place. So, presumably, back to the spaceship, right? Drew, there's a pre engineered grade two Aphelion in the weapons here. Quick, get it. I'll get it. Find your supplies. Listen, I need to hire someone who doesn't mind breaking the law. See? Does that sound like you? She's the same kind of girl as me. Right, where is Pioneer Supplies in this? Oh, there we go. Okay, so they've got some. They've got some weapon upgrading. I've got you covered. Excellent. 
So this dude has got... Oh. Something catches your eye, let me know. You no worries, mate. No worries. Purchasable weapons. None of these okay. guns will let you down. There's a... Is that it? Grade 2. Okay, so I can buy that. Confirm. Presumably I might as yeah, well sell you're up against shielded my other weapon. That are feeling, or slice right through them. Slice right through them. No worries, mate. Yeah. All right. <laughs> right, so two, uh, for some reason I appear to have two Karma P15s. I don't know how I ended up with that. So I'm going to sell one of them. And I don't need the, the one level Aphelion now because I've got the level two. I'm I'm assuming. Well, I don't know why I've got that one. Oh, that's got that's because I've got that one as well. So what kind of weapon is it? A laser carbine. Okay, so I've got two level two weapons, but I've also got the Karma P15 as a backup. Okay. Um, so that's good. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna um, <laughs> we'll bring you a posse to this one definitely. Okay. Any suits of? No, nothing. Nothing suit wise. I think. Did I get a suit? Yeah, my Artemis suit is level 2, but my Maverick suit isn't. So we'll sort that out in a bit. Right, to the ship then. Thank you very much. That was a good come spot. Come back any time. No worries, yeah. I'll come back any time. And hope you enjoy your visit. Let's go to Commander Paphos. Into the lift we go. Yeah, I'll double check my... What is it? It's not called a loadout, is it? Um, it's called something else. Oh, by the way, do you like my, my funky new um, ship skin? I bought, I can't remember what it was called, but I bought a... I had some arcs just free from doing things in the game, which is quite nice. Oh, look, there's a shadow. Come here. Look at the smooth moves that I've got there. That's pretty impressive. Now, that just shows that magnet <laughs> can't be magnetic boots, right? Isn't it? No way I should be able to do that with my empty boots. <laughs> Sorry. Oh dear. <laughs> right. Um, let's have a look. I, I will check my loadout. I'm just about to do that. It's a sort of magnetic moonwalk, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, right, that's down here, isn't it? Uh, low down. There we go. Right, so I'm in a general purpose maverick suit, I suppose. Okay. So uh, I'll manage low down. There we go. Uh, it looks like it's done it automatically. So I've got my primary. Oh no, that's not the one I want. Okay. So I want to. How do I change that then? Oh, there we go. Uh, let's put the affiliate in there. And I've got the semi automatic Karma P15 as my other one. Okay, I haven't yet got. They're quick release mag boots. They're very, very impressive. Uh, <laughs> Uh, right, where are we going? Let's have a look at the mission again. We are going to Sosa Mineralogical Exchange, which is um, uh, here. No, well, we know we're in the right system. Which, which, why is it telling me? Oh, here we go. Target settlement is on planet Zynga Six A. There we go. Um, so it should be in here. No, no, press the wrong button again. <laughs> Told you it would be quick. There we go. It's this one. Okay. I should be able to. There we go. Look, and I can rotate this down. There we go. That's where we're going. Okay. Right, launch. Oh, you can also click the mission icon, click and hold there. Okay, that's quite useful. I'll try that again in the future. Couple of requests there. Apologies. There we go. Right. Oh, mission updated. <laughs> I haven't even started the mission and it's updated. 
What does that mean? Suit is required. I've got a Maverick suit. That's not dated anything, is it? Anyway. Let's go to Zynga 6A and I'll meet you on the surface. They have altered the deal. I pray they don't alter it anymore. Ooh, what's that weird noise? What is that? Ugh. It's peer to peer, so whoever's PC is hosting the instance is struggling. This pro I've never heard that noise before. Thargoid whispers. That's just quite weird. The <laughs> club's tracked me down. Oh no! Did I leave the door open? <laughs> All the air hisses out of my ship. Busy instance of sound caching. Okay, I've not heard that before. Is the ship really close to me? Is that what's... Can I see it? I suppose I can't see it, can I? That's really quite irritating, actually. <laughs> Someone left the fuel. <laughs> All the fuel dripping out of my ship. Oh, you can actually see ships in Super Goose Oh, okay. I've not been able to try that before. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. There we go. Rule of six on approach. Try altering course. I see a lot of other ships on inbound though. That's quite cool. Oh, now it's making weird sounds. All this. Never seen this before either. Is this Super Cruise? What's going on here? What are those? Is that is that Super Cruise? Oh, it's calmed down finally. Oh, that's a DSS. Okay. Oh, I got the the DSS probes. That that looked pretty cool actually. I have not seen that effect from that angle before. Um, Okay, so it's on the dark side of the planet, so that's not great. But anyway, okay, so we're gonna have to sneak down and be sneaky. Someone was spamming DSS probes. Okay. Oh, it's happening again. <laughs> oh, that's what that's what it is. Okay, so <laughs> there's lines everywhere. What are those probes? What are those DSS probes made of? I mean, they're like super fast things and they, they leave crazy trails behind them don't they okay so I've got to react for is this a stealth mission do I have to sneak about a bit or are we just going to traipse in um, I kind of hope for the best it's not a stealth mission okay so basically this, what is this place offline so no sneaking required okay so that's that's cool so somebody is Somebody somewhere in this is, is <laughs> spamming the DSS probes, that's all that means. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I could just I could see some of them. New introduction from Lockjammer. Hello, Commander, good to see you. Uh, right, I can't see anything at all. Because it's the dark side of the planet. Night vision? There we go. Okay, so here's our destination. And I can get night vision in my suit, but only if I do a bunch of grindy stuff to get it. Seems a bit mean. Seems a bit mean. Just my humble opinion. Okay, there might be scavengers. So do I park? Will the base respond to me? I can request docking. Docking request granted. Okay. Push up the ground. Ow. <laughs> don't do don't take your eyes off the controls my friends uh, and do what I just did um, oh, hang on a minute just back up a little ways there and there it is 
that's a massive look at the size of that O1 there compared to the size of the base. <laughs> that's really quite weird. Um, trailer head pull up, yeah. Right, that's my pen, whoever that is. Get the hell out of there. Landing gear deployed. Okay, lots of people are doing some stuff. I'm just going to park my ship because I'm allowed to. Under attack. Woo. Okay, somebody is shooting at my. Docking success. No. Engines disengaged. Let's leave the lights on. Four pips to shields, I think. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Good job it wasn't a stealth vision. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> My um, my ship appears to be being shot at. Under <laughs> and now my, sh now my shields are offline. What? My ship seems to be getting shot up. I wonder if actually I get out of here. I'm going to pop, pop my ship a bit further away. So was somebody in the base, therefore, shooting at my ship? I'll disembark and just dismiss the ship. Okay, yeah, somebody, someone's actually done some damage to my nice spaceship. Cheeky monkeys. I've got the right suit on, haven't I? Could be somebody in my private group. So we just kill anybody who looks like... Right. Okay, right, so engage the power regulator. Right, so I dismiss my ship. Just to be safe. How do I do that? Dismiss ship. I haven't got any night vision, so now I can't even see a damn thing. <laughs> Which way is anything? Is it over, it's over that hill, isn't it? There we go. Right. Uh, oh, I've left the regulator on the ship. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I'll go some of my ship. <laughs> I haven't checked my gear. Okay, I got a bit. Objective complete. <laughs> oh, optional. Scavengers are limited. Okay, so whatever that was, you guys have done it for me. Or somebody has. Right, I need my, <laughs> my ship back. <laughs> this is going well. Uh, oh, it should be with me. How do I check How do I check my gear then? Um, where, where is that? Oh, is that in my backpack? Okay, I've got an energy cell and a Franco grenade. I've got some graphene. And I've got a... I have, no, I've got, I haven't got the power regulator. Or have I got the power regulator? What does that mean? In storage. Does that mean I have? Quantity one. Right, so I have got it. So I don't need... I didn't need to summon my ship. So where's my ship? <laughs> it's my ship. It's landed somewhere. Where has it landed? Is that my ship? I've got no idea where my ship is. <laughs> I've got no idea even where the base is. I think it's, is it over this hill? Or is it? No, there it is, I can see the base. Right, okay, storage is elsewhere. Right, so let's just wander across here then. Okay, so what have I got to do? Engage the power regulator in the building, in the power center building. Right, okay. So somebody's just shining a bright light, a bright light on me. Okay, but assuming I should have my gun out just in case there's trouble. I'll turn my torch on. Am I likely to encounter anything? I could have used my SOV, yes, you're quite right. I could have used... Oh, look, look, my ship's parked over there. Excellent. Right, okay. It looks like it's parked itself on the pad anyway. Should I dismiss my ship just to be safe? I don't want anybody blowing it up. Goodbye, 
by ship. There you go, there goes, that's a bit weird, there goes my cobra. Right, okay, so... Uh, Omnitunes is waving, radium with a party three. Welcome to Omnitunes and friends. Good to see you folks. Right, um... So, okay, so the, the posse is here. Looks like, it looks like we took out the scavengers. I don't think I even saw one, so I don't even know what a scavenger is. Uh, so I'm looking for a power... Ah, I can see some stuff ahead of me. There's a SRV. I'm looking for a building marked power, presumably. There's a terminal. Where would the entrance be? Is this an entrance? Okay, that's an entrance, but how do I know what the building... That just says EXT. There are some bad guys. Oh, no, there's the power building. Right, okay. That doesn't look like that's an entrance. Where's the entrance to the power building? Can I squeeze from that gap? No. Oh. Okay, so presumably I have got the clearance to open this door. Or not. Okay, so I need to get out. What do I need to do? Right, apply e breach. I do have to cut the panel. Okay. This is quite cool. I do like this. Looks like we're doing something very dodge to like. Then I can charge the port. No, not that one. That one. Yay! Okay, we're in. Right, so in here then, engage the power regulator in the power center build. So we need to find a power regulator thing. I have to say the instancing is working well. There's no people aren't jolting about, so that's that's nice. It does feel like we're all sneaking around together. So where would the power regulator be? Is that something I can use a terminal to tell me where it is? Oh, there's a door here. Which says POW. So presumably it's another one of these. Let's just hack our way in then. I do like this. This is quite cool, isn't it? Okay, power the door again. Energy transfer complete. Right, okay. Is that some stuff so I can pinch? Yay. Let's just snatch some stuff. Soon fully charged. Why not? Since it's here. Okay, so what have I got here? Is this the is this the console? Authorization scanner console. Settlement alarms console is offline. That doesn't look like it. Ah, no, nope, this looks like it here. Okay, power center is offline, so I need to engage a regulator by doing what? I need to insert the regulator first. Right, okay. Oh, you guys are all clustered over here, so it's, this is it here, they say. <laughs> Place the power regulator there. Okay, so transfer all from Maverick suit. Confer item to transfer. Here we go. The regulator is in. Okay, so now what do we do? Do we go back to the console and switch it on? Interact. There it goes. Oh look, it's closing up. Is the power going to come back on? Power center initiation confirmed. Power center initiation confirmed. Power center initiation 
Excellent. Okay, so that's it. So we powered it up. Nice. Okay, turn on power. That was quite cool, though. Quite simple, but quite cool. Let's just recharge my suit. Oh, no, I didn't mean, <laughs> didn't mean to overload it. <laughs> I was trying to charge up. I think I pressed the wrong button. Um, Zap. I cloned your profile, hope you don't mind. Right, now I've got level 3 clearance. No guards and a legal reason to be here. So does that mean I can wander around and snaffle some stuff? Is that okay? Let's let's do some let's do some looting because that's exactly what my character would do. Uh, <laughs> there must be some stuff to be had uh, in such a place. Where 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 do we go? Okay, so that seems to just be the power building. Is there anything worth looting in here? Let's see, there were some bad guys outside. Okay, well let's. Go and have a look at some of the other. Oh, it's an upstairs. What's available to loot? Anything? Some doors. That's the recharge. I could do with some of that. Recharging. There we go. Everyone's running around. Oh, there's some stuff there. What's that? Ion battery. I'll have one of those. A micro transformer. There you are. Pinch some stuffs. What's in there? Oh, some ammunition. Okay. We haven't used any. Well, I haven't used any ammunition. Um, okay. I don't see anything else. It's loot. <laughs> it's looting time. It certainly is. There are spots that usually have better loot. Okay, we'll bear that in mind. Let's go have a look at some of the other buildings. Okay. So how do I know if people are bad guys? Woo, okay. There's somebody over there who's definitely a bad guy. <laughs> right, guns out there. Who have we got? Have we got, are these players? No. Oh! I didn't put my shields on. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Lessons learnt there. I think I died. <laughs> Apparently I've lost consciousness. I think I died horribly. Instant report. 15th of February. Pilots fed in rescue rangers. <laughs> Is that the little chipmunks? Okay, so... Commander... Commander Maru Fasto and got killed. I was defeated by Kirby Love. Fertilizer required. Reason for assault unknown. Legal status wanted. Okay, so that didn't go so well. What do I? What, what is? What is this telling me? So I didn't lose any cargo because I didn't have any. Maverick suit. Champion of piety. Total to pay. One hundred thousand credits. Okay, so what, what, what is this redeployment summary? Vessel selection, deploy on foot, financial support. Okay, so I would have the option to sell some ships if I needed the money, and just redeploy. Why am I heading to the clink? Okay, so what's that? What's it telling me? So is that telling me that I'm wanted? Oh, because you stole their regulator. <laughs> I didn't steal the regulator, though. <laughs> I'm confused. Oh, you took the regulator and didn't complete the mission, <laughs> so I'm a crook. Okay. <laughs> 100k to bring you back to life seems like a deal. Ah, oh, so, okay, so what's happened? What's happened? Well, I'm in jail now. Okay, so what I've got? I've got the bed. 
Cobra OS. <laughs> stay safe, stay productive. Okay, you did say run. Okay, so, so what? This is this is a prison cell. Okay, so what? How do I get out of here then? Oh, okay. So unusual prison prison cell just lets me out. Uh, okay, well this is, this is I haven't seen this before. So this is this is <laughs> just become a bad boy, really dangerous. Uh, for a spoon in the poster. <laughs> what film was that from? Is that the that's the Shawshank Redemption, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> okay, so well, these are, is anybody else incarcerated, or was it just me? Okay, so there's a guy there. So is he going to say anything to me? No, she's going to say anything. She has got a very intense stare. She is not interacting with me at all, is she? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? No, no, no interaction whatsoever. Okay, so these are just cells. Right. So what am I... Uh, am I just free to go? Okay, so here's some unfortunate... <laughs> felony is futile. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I... Follow the arrows on the floor. Hangers and shuttles. So is my ship here? Question mark. Okay, so these 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 look familiar. So where where am I then? Oh, I'm paid. Oh, I see. Okay, now my Cobra Mark Three is in the hangar, apparently. That was nice of them to. So they brought me back to life, throw me in prison, gone and got my ship, and uh, brought it back here. It's an odd sort of it's an odd sort of penal system, isn't it? So I'm 46 light years away. Okay, so this is a tip in the future. Use the SRV to kill the scams. You can also use the SRV scan to find goodies and crap. Okay. Right, so... Okay, so... Um, the champion of piety. So what this... This is a fleet carrier or a mega ship or something, is it? Um, <laughs> is there a towing Yeah. Okay, so... That, that, that didn't go to plan. Did it? Let, let's... Let's... Let's be fair. Um, okay, so I'm now back in my ship. Am I still a criminal, or am I am I not guilty anymore? It was a learning experience. <laughs> it didn't go to your place. So, so I've just spent a hundred k on on losing. Okay, so so presuming I failed the mission, a contract failed. So presuming there's nothing I can do there. Mission failed. No. Okay, so discards. So. Okay, so I've got to, go, got to go back to Zynga and try again, is what we're... <laughs> okay. Um, using missiles to blast the scavengers before that, it makes it so much easier. Okay, well, we didn't... I didn't even see the scavengers. I think you, my, my teammates must have taken them out before I even saw them. Because somebody was shooting at my ship, and that, that occupied quite a lot of my time. Let's... Right, I'm going back to Zynga. There we go. Which is over there is two or three jumps for my ship. Right, okay, so let's let's try again. <laughs> I want to do at least one mission today. Um, join the dark side, we have cookies. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I am a very naughty boy. <laughs> He's a very naughty boy. <laughs> right, so I'm out of the clink. So, <laughs> I sense a steep learning curve for me here. <laughs> trying to get, trying to get to the grips of all this stuff. Stuff. Power settlement. Uh, well, I, I kind of know a little bit. At least what I'm doing now. I think it was um, sudden, the sudden arrival of the bad guys, and then forgetting that I didn't have my shields up that caught me out there. So, right, round two. Here we go. Let's try that again, shall we? On the first day of the Alpha, there was no help, no know-how, no expertise. Yeah. I remember Alpha Day 1 and all the very confused streamers. Yeah. 
I think because of all of this, it might have been quite difficult. Well, they did seem to kill me pretty far. I mean, they didn't have any shields, but it was that, that was sort of two shots. By the time I realised I was in trouble, um, it was sort of game over, really, wasn't it? But right, okay, I need to be wiser now. Okay, so remember to switch your shields on. I suppose with the, sh the thinking is because the spaceships have their shields on automatically, I suppose it makes sense that that's a very power hungry thing to do. Frameshift drive charging. Oh, cook your ship, Andrew. Frameshift drive charging. Um, okay, are you familiar with the newer, tougher SUV? I have driven it briefly, but I don't think I've got one yet. Uh, so let's maybe I'll maybe I'll use the SRV and I'll park a little bit further away next time. Let's go. Let's get ourselves a mission. Three, we'll try that yet. Two, one, let's not land at the actual settlement this time. Let's land a bit further off and drive in, shall we? And then see what happens this time. <laughs> I can see for a, a new, again, a new player trying to get to grips with this on their own. I mean, it's, it's quite hard again, isn't it? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Okay, well, is it? I look like a complete noob. I am a complete noob, but it's it's a, it's a lack of skill. That's exactly what it is. I don't normally do that either. I'm gonna have to wait for the FST to cool down. <laughs> there are a lot of quick moments. Yeah. So, um, for any of, any of you who are watching this, thinking this game looks really, really difficult, <laughs> there, that's absolutely fine. What you need is a bunch of friendly, friendly companions to help you through it. Um, so, um, but I think our rank has been used as well to calculate the NPC rank, so it would have made it easier. Well, a load it would have been easier. Okay, that sort of makes sense, I suppose. Right, let's charging. get ourselves out of here. I'm going to might have to do a few repairs to my ship by the time we get back, because I think it's going to be a bit bashed up. <sighs> it's a perfect time to join the chap. It is, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, come on, charge. There we go. It was difficult in the other days, probably more difficult than now, to be honest, yeah. So, I mean, if, you, if you're not knowing how to do things, I can see it being quite demoralising. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's a bad thing too. Right, are we in the right system? We are. Right, let's get to... What was it again? No, not the galaxy map. System map. It was that one, wasn't it? Pythagoras Port. There we go. Let's get back there. Let's let's hope that my reputation doesn't precede me. <laughs> they all go. Oh, that guy! Wasn't he the guy that failed the mission for those other guys? <laughs> Give him a mission. Ah <laughs> oh, dear. The moment when the whole army of people are drew still dies. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's supposed to be an easy mission. <laughs> Uh, hey, now the thing is, if I can do it, and, and we will do it, we will, we will, we will be successful. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Okay, <laughs> FPS gameplay, um, as my as my son was was very keen to point out because he watched um, he watched my first stream when we did the Odyssey um, the um, the Odyssey um, bum, 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 the training level right at the beginning, right. <laughs> He contacted me the following day and said, Dad, your FPS skills. He said, just... <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think he had any constructive advice for me, I'm afraid. It was <laughs> basically just a case of, nope. <laughs> right, here we go again. Pad two, where's pad two? Get good noob, it's pretty much <laughs> pretty much what he said actually, yeah. Uh, it was woeful. I think he was almost at the point of disowning me, but he's, he's, he's you know, he's... <laughs> Drew Wager, not related to me at all. 
He does. To be fair, he plays a lot of FPS games and he likes them. It's never been something I've enjoyed. So, um, if I don't have to shoot people, I'm kind of a bit. You know, I don't mind this sort of sneaking around business. Um, that sort of appeals to me. Like shooting, shooting folks is not really ever a game play play style I've kind of really enjoyed. So, um, all right, let's fix the ship and get back down. Right. So, <laughs> it'd be funny if you showed I, I feel like there's just that what there ought to be at this point is a bunch of people. When I get into the. Um, <laughs> I mean, you guys will probably do this for me, right? Uh, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> get into the Pilots Federation Lounge. Just a bunch of people slow clapping. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think all the NPCs should be slow clapping, to be fair. Going. Okay, so. No gravity. Magnetic contact active. Okay, so I, I know. Let, let's try it. Let's, let's try not to OP the game and cheese the game with dumb fire missiles. Yeah, I'd like to try that, but I'd like to just to do the mission as it's kind of supposed to be done. <laughs> kind of the idea here. That, that, so why, is, why is there. Why are there sparks coming through the... <laughs> What's all that about? Is there some sort of celebration going on? What was that? Oh, it stopped now. Okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh, right, let's find ourselves a terminal. Hope, hope nobody's looking. Let's see if we can ourselves another mission. <laughs> was that chaff? Someone firing chaff and it's leaky in. <laughs> Uh, right. Okay. So turn on some power. Right. Let's let's try this again. All right. Let's go for the one that pays the most because why not? Uh, that would be that one. Oh look! Turn on the power. Turn on the power at Social Meteorological Exchange because the last guy we sent was a complete idiot. You failed. <laughs> let's pick another planet. Maybe one in daylight. Let's 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 do that's a really good idea. Let's go to Foster Drilling Facility. Uh <laughs> it might find a regulator of the previous guy's corpse. Yes. Uh, Dreminica says, have you considered writing another elite book and possibly having player commander cameo in it somewhere? Um, uh, well, I have. Um, unfortunately, the problem with writing a, an, another elite book is that you need Frontier Development's permission to do so. Um, and they have been entirely silent on new books for more than six years now. So I suspect um, it's not really something that's on their radar anymore. I don't think they're interested, which is a shame because I would do another elite book. Um, but I can't do one without their permission. Um, and uh, I try, and you know, I tried for a long time because um, those of you who do know, I, I've written two Elite Dangerous books, two official Elite Dangerous books. The first one was also converted into audible format. Um, I wrote the second one, and I wanted to produce that in audiobook format as well. Uh, unfortunately, for which again I needed Frontier's permission, and I spent four years trying to get Frontier merely to say the word yes to me being able to produce the audiobook version. Um, they had to do nothing at all. Okay, they had to do zero. I said I produce it myself. All you need to do is give me the sound effects from the game. I've got all the capabilities because we've did it before. Okay, we know what we're doing. I'll produce it to a book. You can have the sign off on it if you want, you know, um, you know, to make sure it's correct and blah, 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 blah. All you have to do is say yes. Four years later, after trying, could not get them to say yes. <laughs> so um, given, given that, I suspect, unfortunately, it's very, very unlikely I'll get permission to write an entirely new book simply because... Uh, yeah, they just they just won't they just don't do it. Um, so I don't know. Um, however, what I am doing, as some of you may have sneakily noticed, I used a long time before I wrote my elite books. I wrote some elite fan fiction called the Elite Saga, which I have deleted or deleted. Um, I've taken out all the frontier copyright references, basically, um, in a slightly cheeky way. All the ships have been renamed from snakes to birds. 
Um, but otherwise, they're identical stories. Uh, but there's nothing in there that's IP infringing to the frontier environment. So it's, it's like a lead, but it isn't, right? Uh, so it's now called the Elect Saga. I am converting that to audiobook. So the first one, Status Quo, will be out in an audiobook form before too long. So you might want to enjoy that in your Elite Spaceship because it'll be very like Elite, but not. <laughs> so that's the best I can do, I'm afraid. Um, right, so I've got a mission. I need to repair my ship. Let's launch. I have got the power regulator thing because they would have given that to me. I've got to decide where I'm going, which is this place. Uh, now somebody said something about a, an icon, but I don't do I know that. Let's get off the ship first. One thing at a time, shall we? Ship released. Engines engaged. Uh, here. Oh, it's the same planet. <laughs> Great. Oh, but this one does look like it's in... Maybe just about in daylight. It's right on the Terminator. So at least we'll be able to see what the hell we're doing this time. Hopefully, maybe, he says. <laughs> see how it goes. Um... It is in daylight. Um, uh, mission understood. I'm right. Chat time to <laughs> f bomb f devs Twitter with. We want more stories. <laughs> you can try. You can try. Um, I would be more than willing to write one if I could give it permission. But we do need f devs official blessing in order to be able to do that. Some of these missions make me feel like James Bond, and some others make me feel like Johnny English. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's about right. Well, let's not have any more of that silly DSS stuff. That was... <laughs> Stop it. Right, okay, we are going to do... We are, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm determined to be successful in the Odyssey mission. Uh, somehow. Commander Mere Mortal, didn't you pay to books with their permission? Okay, so the first one, yes. Um, the first one was actually a Kickstarter award, for those of you who remember that far back. 2012, I think, the Elite Dangerous Kickstarter. One of the rewards on the Kickstarter was pledged to four and a half grand. Four and a half grand? And uh, we'll let you write a book in our universe, very generously. Um, uh, now, I didn't have four and a half grand, as, as no, neither did anybody else, pretty much, other than some really, really rich people. Um, so I ended up, and it wasn't my idea, actually. Somebody else uh, suggested it. Uh, I started my own Kickstarter to fund four and a half grand so I could stick it on Frontiers Kickstarter. Uh, and bizarrely, that actually worked. <laughs> so the good news is I didn't... The, the funny thing was it was a sort of Ponzi scheme because I didn't have to pay the four and a half grand because people put their money on my Kickstarter. Um, but when they put it on my Kickstarter. I transferred the money over to the Frontier Kickstarter, right? So nobody lost out anything, and we got a free book out of it, effectively. At least the pledges did. Um, so yeah, so and a few other authors did that as well. There were, there were quite a few books, I think, from eight or nine um, came out, of which mine was one of them. And um, But later on, Frontier did approach me and said, can you write us a second one, because we liked your book. Um, and, um, and so the second one was actually commissioned by Frontier specifically they sort of paid me in advance for it um, and um, the, sec the second one was based on in-game events whereas the first one wasn't because the game, <laughs> the game didn't exist when I wrote the book um, so yeah so th th it's two slightly different approaches so yeah anybody who well anybody who pledged on my Kickstarter above a certain amount I think it was 10 quid or something got a, got a copy of the book upon release yeah Orbital flight engaged. And I think I, I had sort of various different pledge level awards, you know, right up to some of the top. I think I had a pledge level award for like 250 quid or something, which was name a character or something. Like, I can't remember now, too long ago. But something like that. So, um, but some people went for that. I think one of the characters I had in my book um, was definitely player submitted. So, um, so they were a small, small piece of immortality for whoever that was. I can't remember now. Um, 
Was it 10 Kickstarters by the end? Yeah, so I think I was the first one to do it successfully and then everybody else tried it as well. <laughs> do I recall? I think it was Octavia Quinton. Yeah, it definitely was Octavia Quinton. So Octavia Quinton was a character designed by one of the people who pledged on my Kickstarter. I'm pretty sure that was, that was the case. Um, that was a long time ago. It's like 12 years ago now. So who played? No, Salome was one of my creations. I created Salome. Um, but the, the evil baddie lady, Octavia Quinton, was a was a was a contribution from somebody else. Okay, so we're here. We are Foster Drilling Facility, and it's dropping us twenty kilometres out for reasons that's only clear to the game. Okay, at least we can sort of sneak up on it this time. Ship over there super fast. Because my Cobra isn't a slouch. Right, I'm gonna park a little bit further away and we'll drive in this time. And I've got to face part the ground as well. Okay, so let's there's the base. I'm gonna park down here. Is there a problem with having the snake ships in the Olite Saga? Yes, there is. Um, all those are copyright, Cobra Mark III. And I know the word Cobra can't be copyrighted, but the context of the ships um, is potentially copyrightable. So I decided not to use anything that had FDev or David Braben or Ian, even Ian Bell in origin. So it's um, inspired by a space trading game. <laughs> Uh, but that's it. There was everything that's um, created in there. So I was—I had to drop out things like Witch Space. I had to drop out Anacondas and Cobras and Raxlers and um, all of those things. Change the names of the planets and everything. But they're—they're um, they're very tongue-in-cheek changes, right? Um, so I think Lave became Yave and Tianisla became Zionisla. Things like that. So it's like it's a bit tongue-in-cheek, but technically I'm okay because it's—it's it's a homage. Uh, <laughs> and I think Rexler became Enigma and <laughs> stuff like that. So it's, it's it's a bit cheeky, but hey. <laughs> like I say, I don't bite the hand that feeds me, but I do nibble at it. <laughs> right, let's get ourselves into um, So yeah, so um, the audiobook and it will it's a dramatized version, so I am very lucky that my son's girlfriend um, who, oddly enough, <laughs> no, this may sound a bit weird, my son's girlfriend is actually called Rebecca, who is the heroine, the name of the heroine in uh, Status Quo. Um, and she has voice acted Rebecca's part for me. Um, and so it's, it's, I suppose, a semi-dramatised, it's not a full dramatisation because I don't have the mechanism to do that, but it's a dramatised read-through, a bit like Elite Reclamation was. Um, in the audiobook, if you, any of you have ever heard that. So the status quo audiobook with um, um, a young lady called Rebecca, voicing Rebecca, um, is, um, is is coming soon. And what's her age? So, well, um, the real Rebecca in real life is 20-something. I can't remember exactly what her age is. Um, and that's about right for how old she was in the book. So, um, so that's good. So, yeah, so it's, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. Um, so rather than me doing a lady's voice, all the la all the female parts, as it were, um, are played by Rebecca, and she's she's um, she's a, she's a budding young actress, so she's had a lot of fun doing it, and um, um, you know she can try out silly accents and all sorts of things on there. So yeah, so it, it's it's going to be better than just a straight walkthrough, which should be good. Right, so I'm driving here. Let's, I can see a few other people in SLVs about. Is there anything I need to shoot? 
Oh, all seems, oh look, there's one, there's a scorpion, which does look quite cool. Oh, not very good driving. Okay, so I don't know where the, I'm not sure where the power building is, but it says STO. Oh, there's the power building over there. Right, okay. Let's get ourselves in. Let's just park here, really. I think that seems like a perfect place to park. Put the handbrake on. Right, disembark. Hope I paid it. Yeah, she is due some. She is due some monies. That is very true. Uh, we haven't done that yet, but we will be doing that. Right. Okay. So this is the power building. I need to open the thingy. This layout is exactly the same as before, which is useful, I think. Yeah, then I've got to get into the actual reactor room. Oh, I'm too close. No, 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 I'm going to pay, I'm going to pay the Rebecca, pay Rebecca for, uh, properly for her services, so don't you... <laughs> Don't you worry about that. Um, not doing it just for the exposure, because we don't do that. That's just wrong. Uh, right, okay. There is the thingy. So let's place that in there. No, I'm doing now. Look, see, look how look how slick this is now compared to before. I've got to go over here and switch the thingy on, haven't I? There we go. Look, there it's sliding in. Hopefully it will power up in a minute. Look like a pro. I know what I'm doing. Power center initiation confirmed. Power center initiation confirmed. Engaging power regulator. Right. Okay, so now we do some looting. Excellent. Right, there is a data terminal in here. What does a data terminal look like? Is that? That's a charge ball. There's some power packs. Those are worth pinching. Where does... Ooh. That looks like a lightsaber. Uh, what does a data port look like? Yeah, I'll, um, I'll make sure I switch the shields on before we go outside. What does a data port look like? And there's a maglock cabinet. Okay, is that... A small red panel. Download data. Ooh, it's just... Nice, okay. Okay. Okay, I've downloaded some stuff. Your USB stick is full. Now, where's this maglev? Mag, mag lock cabinet, is that? Yeah, okay. There we go. There's some stuff here. Ooh. Stuff to pinch. Okay, so that's how you get sort of material. So is this one that's also... Oh, that one's locked. Mag lock. So does that mean I use this thingy to slice my way in? <laughs> oh, some stuff in there. Nice. Okay, so I've got some got some stuffs. You didn't see me do that, by the way. That didn't happen. Oh, well, that's the side of the reactor now. It's powered up. Okay, that that's quite cool because that does look like a sort of fusion reactor, doesn't it? Nice little bit of lore in there. That looks like a sort of tokamak fusion ring, doesn't it? And that is that is correct in the lore. Um, as um, okay, I think someone else has just been there. Um, Everything in the Elite Dangerous Universe is supposed to be powered by fusion. 
so that's quite cool. Um, okay, so we've kind of looted that area. Anything in here? There's an upstairs. It's gone there. Seem to be anything obvious. There's a door here, though. A grenade case. Oh, some grenades. Oh, it's a shield projector. I can only have one. Okay. Well, better than nothing. Okay. Doesn't seem to be anything else there. Okay, so I sort of see how you start building up material stashes. Presumably I can take that back and trade it and do things right. We have to go, go outside again now, aren't we? So, how do I switch the shield on? There we go. Okay, so it all seems clear at the moment. But I can now go and look in all the other buildings. Oh, blimey, look. There's a <laughs> Is that new? <laughs> there's a massive federal corvette just sort of hanging in space nearby. Uh, cool. <laughs> I presume I can get into all of these. Yes, because I've got the security clearance, haven't I? Entering okay, so is it? I'll just take some anything I can find. So, I'm just looking around for things that might be things. There's stuff in the wall there. Oh, I can't. I don't need any more. Stay safe. Smiley face. Excellent. Good advice. So this stuff all just feels like doom to me, as in the game. Um, because it's just wandering around lots of really, really similar looking rooms. <laughs> I find this very, 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 very disorientating quite fast. Ah, oh, hang on, there's another one of those maglock things. I like hacking this. This is this is fun. I like doing this. Ooh. What have we got in here? An inertia canister. Genetic repair meds. Ionized gas. An inertia canister. What does an inertia canister do? We definitely get a bunch of stuff anyway. So there's some ammunition which I can't use. Oh, there's another one. We can swipe. Swiping everything today. Okay. Oh, I can interact. Oh, that one just opens. Ah, oh, this is great. <laughs> Looting everything. <laughs> if I've got the pockets, why not? Oh, there's another one. This is good. I feel like we've. I don't want to die. What time is it? I'm almost out of time. Ooh. We've got to get back to the space bar, of course. Yeah, okay. There's some... There's a med kit. Nice! I feel like I've, I've, I feel like I've done quite well out of this mission. Watch my power levels. Oh, it's down to 35%. Okay, that's a good point. Yes, I forgot the, sh the shields. Right, I need a power... So there's one... In that direction. Somewhere. Except there isn't, because I can't get around the back. It doesn't tell me where the doors are, of course, that's the problem. Oh, I walk past some batteries. <laughs> this is the problem, I can't. I don't spot them. I need to get to something fairly quickly, actually, to get that. There are some on the wall, where are they? There's a charge point there. Oh, there we go. Charge point. I can use that, can't I? Can I? That doesn't seem to work. Why can't I? 
Oh, that's to charge the door. That doesn't work. So where, where are the batteries? I don't... I need this charge thing, but I can't find my way to it. Oh, I've got to. So how do I... Okay, how do I call them up? It's in the backpack, presumably. So do I... Use item? Ah, there we go. Okay, so that's that immediate problem gone. Right. Okay. I can yeah, I can see the mini map. That should mean there's a charge point. Ah, oh, there we go. There's one there. So I can use that with that super recharge socket. Right. Okay. I could have just done that. Okay. Um. All right. So. Where else haven't I been then? I've been in there. That is that the power building I came from? No, that's a stove for storage. So I'm guessing I haven't been in there. This doesn't look familiar. So there's a bunch of stored stuff. Is any of it? Open them all there. Looks like it's just eye candy. This just looks like a um, lock and store, doesn't it? <laughs> Which I suppose it is. A space lock and store. Oh, there's some stuff. So you've got to be. You can't keep your eye out as to where stuff might be. Sort of hanging around on top of things. Well, there's quite a lot of stuff just lying about, isn't there? That you can just pinch. I mean, obviously very dodge. <laughs> a medical case? Someone's pointing at something. Oh, look, there's a data, data thing, Magic. Good point. Thank you for that. Okay, so just just download everything. <laughs> Too much of it is useless. Is there any security? <laughs> no clean desk policy here either. <laughs> Drew found something legal. To yeah, I'm not trying to be illegal, but the game does rather encourage you to do illegal stuff, doesn't it? Oh, if I just triggered the alarm. Oh yeah, okay, excellent. Okay, bad stuff's about to happen. Right, now we've... Uh, okay. They expect looting. Right, take what you can, give nothing back, but no one's there. Okay, so there's an alarm going off. I haven't downloaded all the data yet. So does that mean some bad guys are going to be appearing? I've got some data. I've, well, I guess I'm going to find out. Transfer complete. Oh, you mean some good guys? <laughs> Yeah, I do actually, didn't I? <laughs> That's exactly what I mean. Um, right, I, th I think I'm, I don't want to push my luck, so I think it might be a good idea. Oh, well done. That's just, just one last bit of heisting. Nice. A fossil. I have no idea what any of this stuff does. There we go, right. I think it's about time I cut my losses. Let's find our way back to the ship. I suppose we could switch the alarms off, but I think I need to just find my way out. Where's the exit? See these? Pla I don't know how you guys remember how your way around these places because they're just they're like a maze, as far as I'm concerned. Where's the way out? Oh, there's a doorway over there. Bad guys about. I'll put my shield on anyway. Shield right, is my ship? Is that my SRV? Doing it a thousand times works. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. Okay, that's Mr. Talby's one. Where's my SRV? How do I tell? Is that mine over there? 
Yeah, that's mine, because it's purple. Right, so back in there. Okay. Uh, and break off. Where's my ship? Almost successful. This bit I'm more familiar with. Here we go. Let's us jump into the old Cobra Mark III, the Mobilis, my trusty ship. The bar, yeah, everyone to the bar. Commander Talby is activating their system authority link. Is that good or bad? Right, getting out of here regardless. Uh, Drew, as the stations here are quite small for us, shall we go to the bar at the starport? Let's do that. Okay, Pal Dalka Landing. Head there. I've not, I haven't I got to, oh no, I haven't I got to go back here to drop my, my mission off first though. Let's let let me do that and then we will go to Paldoka Landing. Where's that by the way? Um because I've got to turn my mission in, haven't I? Let me do that first and then we'll go to Paldoka Landing. Turn the mission in. Four, three, two, one. Let's do that. Thank you for your help there, guys. That was funny. Well, I got, I got a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know if any of it is any use to anybody. But I've got I haven't done it yet. Let's, let's, let's not count my chickens before they hatch. But I, I feel I may have completed my first Odyssey mission. Almost, almost on my own. Josie Sauce, I haven't played in a while. How bad is indiscriminate piracy now? I don't know, I haven't tried piracy. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll, because I've now started on a life of crime, uh, maybe we'll try that in a bit. Um, it is quite addictive. You can trade and sell what you don't need. So have I, have I finally got something I can have a conversation with the bar person with, with, with this stuff? Is that, is that what, how that works? Are they, are they actually going to actually take an interest in me and just not, rather than just saying, no, you can't have a drink? Oh, okay, cool. Um, I could all around for everybody. The Odyssey materials help is really useful for figuring out what to sell and keep. Okay, so maybe you guys can tell me what is useful. Uh, do you recommend any entry points for someone that hasn't played since before Odyssey? Well, that's basically pretty much where I am, um, Jose Source. Um, so that mission there um, to reactivate a base was relatively straightforward but I, I think I would have struggled if I'd been on my own to be honest um, a lot of people were in the chat there telling me what to do so um, it's not a game that holds your hand very well um, the, the, the first thing I would definitely recommend in Odyssey to be honest is learning how to do exploration and the sorry exobiology because um, um, a, it pays a lot of money, and B, it's quite straightforward. So I definitely recommend that. That's a really easy way to just familiarise yourself, your, yourself with wandering around and doing things on foot. Um, and it's it's quite relaxing. It's you know I, I've encountered no danger other than crashing my SRV into a few rocks. So that that was a really good way to get established. Um, the missions are a little bit more of a challenge. Um, but I've had some very helpful people here on stream. So if you can find some people to help you. I think that's going to be that's going to be a lot better. Um, so yeah, the exobiology is it's it's relaxing um, and it is quite good fun and it pays a lot of credit, so it gives you some yeah there's some big benefits there. I wouldn't um, is it fun? it is fun actually because it's it takes a bit of time hunting around and just flying around, but it's it's there's no danger in it really, um, which is quite um, quite nice. Um, and yeah, it does. You've got to pay attention to the UI in this game. Um, 
I wouldn't say the UI design was very good, but um, most of the data is there, but it's it's just hard to assimilate, I find. So, um, so yeah, so take it easy, do do one bit of it. I'm trying to get now familiar with the Odyssey missions a bit. So that was good fun, I quite enjoyed doing that. I like, I like, <laughs> I like undoing the mag logs and swiping stuff, that appeals to me. So that's good too. Um, um, and yeah, check it, check out Discord. Um, Jose, if you type um, exclamation mark Discord into the chat, it will give you a link to my Discord. And there's lots and lots of helpful players in there who, if you're into sort of PVE, uh, you can you can join in. And there's always somebody about who will give you a hand. And we're all, we're all pretty friendly. It's always pad number two, isn't it? Which I can never find. There it is at the top. Are they, look, at the, look at the stupid approach. They put the pad. The, why isn't the pad facing the other way, for goodness sakes? It's just such a daft design. It's a massive, massive building block right where you want to approach that pad. That's just that's stupid. Never coming to this never coming to Pythagoras port again. Alright. Um, okay, Commander Trench Blue says don't forget to raid at the end of the stream. Oh, yeah, let's do Star God again because I, I did see him in the stream, so uh, it'll be good to raid him in a moment. Uh, right, so I have to disembark, don't I, because I can't hand in an on foot mission from my ship for reasons. Uh, First time chat from Commander Duck Duck One. Good to see you. Oh seven and cheers. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Um, you see, I like to fly in and land rather than land land. Pads are designed and placed for launching, not landing. I suppose that's that's fair enough. Yep. Oh, well, first time chat from you as well. Good, good to see you. Thank you very much. Right. So um, let's hand in the mission and let's get to get to the bar at some other spaceport. Oh, I can complete from the ship, can I? Oh, is that using the mission? Oh, so I didn't need to do this. Okay. Well, that's useful to know. Okay, so you can then... Okay. There's a Grade 2 Executioner. What's an Executioner? Nice sunset down there. Excellent. Oh, that's good. All right, I'm just going to go here then. Look at this. This is Drew Wager completing a mission in Odyssey. Bam, bam. Bah! Right, what do I want here? Is any of this any use? Surveillance equipment, four units. Do I do that or do I just keep the cash? Get get the... Oh, wait. I do want the materials. Right, okay, because I don't really need the cash. Okay. Right, I've got some I've got some stuffs. Look at that! I've, I've, I've completed a mission! Are you proud of me? <laughs> that, was, that was good. I enjoyed that. That was fun. I'm becoming. I'm not quite a veteran yet, but I'm. Uh, oh, is that? Did you say there's a plasma rifle here now, or is it? Is it somewhere else? Now time for the slow clap. Was it here in the market for? Come take a look. I've already spoken to Sid. So what are you after today? Oh, it's at the surface port. Okay, no, I'm not after anything, mate. Sorry, mate. Maybe next time. Yeah, no worries. Right, the all five speed gearbox do what? Knock it on the head. No, I like my Cobra Mark III, thank you very much. Right, where is this surface port? Where am I going? Is that the surface port? Okay, so that's worth it as well. Plasma rifle is OP. Overpowered, is it? Sounds like my kind of thing. So which surface port am I going to, by the way? Um, right, there's the system map. Um, which one? This one? Wagner's Prospect. We ought to go there. Which? Oh, that one. I'll take a landing, there we go. That's what I want to go. Oh, 
Oh, surveillance equipment is actually one of the components needed for the night vision upgrade. Oh, well, that would be handy. I wouldn't mind having night vision in my suit. Alien to be able shotgun to the face is the most OP of all things. Space station. Expert pilot, me. Expert. Right, let's go for beers, my friends. Let's go for beers. I've turned in the mission. I've got some stuffs. Yeah, oh, count that as a success. That was good. That was good. Right, now we've just got to land at the city. Oh, there's a nice sunset. That's the perfect way to end the day, isn't it? Best three weapons are, okay, plasma rifle, plasma shotgun, and plasma pistol. And I made some money, I did. Made some money, looted some stuff, died, came back to life, was in prison. It's been quite an eventful stream. <laughs> Okay, just shop around on Thursdays. I did zero grinding, got all my gear to grade three, double pre-engineered. Okay, so I've heard that a few times. So, if, yeah. So basically, um, the, when does the server reset? Set then? Is it sort of Wednesday evening or is it sometime during the day, during Thursday? Now oh, someone's doing the DSS things again, aren't they? 7 a.m. on Thursday. Okay, so basically 7 a.m. on Thursday. Oops, a loop of shame coming up. Audi TT with the new set of tyres on it. <laughs> Whatever that is. Look at that, that's quite cool. I didn't realise you could see the DSSs from another ship. That's 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 actually quite cool. Quite like that. I thought those probes are made of, but they're super fast, aren't they? Okay, look, Paldelica landing is right on the Terminator, so like you said, a nice sunset. You can see all the other commanders zooming in. I must admit, these thin atmospheric worlds are, are very atmospheric. <laughs> uh, I should laugh at me at jokes, <laughs> but I do. <laughs> They, they work well. I, I like them. I'm just hoping we get some weather at some point as well, because that would be really good. Because that, that actually looks really good, doesn't it? That looks that looks like a proper sort of filmy experience, that does, with the atmosphere thickening around. So this is quite a nice thick atmosphere in terms of how thick, thin atmospheres go. Um, so how do you find these engineered suits? Are you just literally wandering around hoping to find something? Totally random, right, okay. This is actually a relatively thick atmosphere from around here, isn't it? Yes. Let's visit the best. So, yeah, look, this, is, this is a properly thick atmosphere. Look at that. Oh, look at that, that does look good. Nice. Good choice of location, guys. Mike Echo Romeo, you are approaching a federal port. Please oh, submit to all yeah. regulation scans. Before feds. Access denied. Access denied. Unable. Hold for landing pad availability. Ah. Too many commanders. Access granted. Land on pad. Zero, one. There's pan zero one. Over there. I don't mind a bit of traffic congestion. I mean, that's makes sense, doesn't it? Look at that. We're landing straight into the sunset. We like. Reports of heavy traffic within the area. Maintain safe clearance distance. Side. <laughs> Do a nice big leap. See? Where's the pack gone? <laughs> it's 
to the bed. Descend to flight level five zero. I'm trying, honey. Why am I still the wrong way around? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Since of spatial awareness is very bad. Oh dear. Landing in the history of landings, that was. <laughs> oh dear. I'm almost at the bar. Right, to the bar. <laughs> Remember earlier when you said I was a pro? <laughs> hey, any landing you can walk away from is <laughs> a good landing. I don't know when we get that wrong either, but I clearly wasn't thinking. Yeah, someone doesn't need a docking computer now, definitely not. If you can't dock your own ship, you shouldn't be in space. <laughs> right. Oh, this one's quite cool. Look, it's all underground. It's all hewn out of the ground. That's quite nice. Where's where's the exit? Right at the back of the ship. Here we go. Right. It will be in bar before me, of course. Lifts. <laughs> Somebody clip it. Choose best landing ever. Ah, dear. Right, here we are. Commander Ted Star Omega is giving me a salute. There's somebody over there who's unscanned. Oh, the Commander Optimus will give me a, a round of applause. Uh, thank you very much, folks. Right, where's the bar in this place? Um... Oh, it's down the down the ground, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. This is one of the nicer ones, actually. I like this layout here because it's actually got a bar that kind of looks like a bar. Oh, there's a spaceship outside doing stupid stuff. <laughs> that's quite cool. How the instancing allows that to work. <laughs> Somebody mucking out in their spaceship outside the window. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, brilliant. Commander Rossi at the bar there. Now, actually, let me just play. Let me just have a chat to the bar person. What does he actually say Something now, though? So. Oh, may I be of service today? Okay, so I've got, got the goods. I've got, got something to credits. sell. Okay, so all this stuff is stuff I can sell. Okay, so he's the he's the fence basically. So I don't know whether I should sell any of these, of course. But um, oh, some of this stuff's actually worth a fair bit of money, isn't it? But I won't at the moment. Oh, even the data, so I can do the data here as well. So I'm not going to sell it, but... that be um, all? Please, do feel free to waste my time. <laughs> We're so bad-tempered, aren't they? Ah, uh, dear. Right, um, I, I think it's time to stand in front of the window, my friends. Because um, there's... You know, normally it's an asp in front of things, but in this case, it's, it's, uh, it's us in front of an asp. <laughs> so there we go. So there we go. Commander Rossi is here, Commander Burn64 is here, Commander Artemis is here. What else do we have? Commander Shaira is here, Dead Star Omega is here, Commander Frank is here, Commander Stupid Stew is here. Is that, everyone's here. That's good. And there's, there's, there's us standing in front of an ass. Oh, it looks like there's a crate behind there and I can't quite make out what that other one is. But there's ships. And that, you know, the instancing is so much better than it used to be. It's actually, it works. It is good. Thank you very much. I'm going to take a salute. There we go. <laughs> What's clap? Is that fine? Nope. What's the clap? <laughs> I can't find the clap. Nope, it's not that one. Must be that one. Nope, it's not that one either. What's the clap? There we go. <laughs> Yay. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm going to keep saluting. Oh, some of them respond, do they? Excellent. Commander Frank's there. Commander Frank, as you were. <laughs> well done, everybody. 
That's awesome. Right, now I'm going to I'm going to raid then. Um, Star Goid. Oh yeah, get the rifle, get the rifle. Where's the rifle? Yes. Let me go and get that before I forget. Sorry. Whatever you're in the market for, come take a look. Okay. Give me a shot if you have any questions. Give you a shot. Okay, hang on. Uh, I want to buy my weapon here. So it's a grade two. What was it? Was that the executioner? That one there. Okay. Eight hundred seventy-five thousand. It's three the times as expensive as a Cobra Mark III. See you. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> sure, you got everything. Not sure like, how money there. works in the Elite Dangerous Universe. Anyway, thank you very much, Dead Star Omega. Right back over there. Right, I am going to raid um, Stargoid. Let's let's pop over and see Stargoid. And uh, again, thank you very much um, for the um, for the guidance there. We completed the mission in Odyssey. I mean, that's that's pretty good. So I've now got a good sniper rifle as well. Um, and uh, hopefully, yeah, at some point, we will try some FPS. Maybe I'll try that next week. We'll actually try and kill some people because I haven't been very successful about that so far. But we will give that a whirl. So uh, let me just move on over to Streamlabs. Right, what is it? Slash raid Stargoid, isn't it? Is it is it just Stargoid? Uh, let's give um, let's give them a try. Right, here we go. Ninety-five. Everyone's transferring. Raid incoming for Stargo. I quite like this. Though. I haven't done the raids before, so this is quite good as well. Um, right, we're moving up, moving up. One hundred and fifty-one viewers are ready to go and raid Stargo now. Are we ready to engage Raid Mal? Engaging Raid. Take it easy, commanders. Right on, and I will see you next week. Be good. Have a fantastic weekend ahead, and as always, right on, commanders. Raid is in progress. Engage raid mode. Have you ever thought about selling up and becoming an explorer? Incoming raid detected. It's quite good this time. Right, be good, my friends. I will transfer and quickly say hello to Stargoy Stream, uh, but I will see you soon. Be good and take it easy.